Let's see, we got a really nice grab on it, but we'll want to have it grab the other way anyway, so. What I don't want to do is drop it. I did lose connection again there. Oh, I just, uh, yeah, the back coiled cable. <laughs> oh no. You tilt up for me? Yep. Close and lock there. Um, yeah, okay, hit you lock there for me. Watch out. Locked? Locked. Well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no comms at the moment, that's what you're saying. I'll give it a reboot. No comms. Yeah, no, oh, should talk. Go. Okay, just yeah. hold it there for a sec. That's good. If it Three, was. Four. Yeah, it's still coming through. Right. And it looks like it's a little intermittent, but. Uh, Table out here, and we'll give it one more poke. Stick it in the mud. Yeah, sure. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty consistent now at two seconds between samples. I'll give you a shout if it drops out. Alright, dude. getting a little flaky again. It's losing its, uh, it's giving me the date every sample and it thinks it's 1903 now, so <laughs> <laughs> it's a little touchy. Okay. Temperature's yeah. all over the place. I want to open it.
It's good now, isn't it? I'm just going to restart the program, get a fresh start. I might have to lay it down and get some more weight on the front there. We'll have to the hockey puck shrunk a little bit in depth. What's that? I wanted the hockey pucks shrunk yeah. in depth. Yeah, it was kind of a tight fit on there. We put some tape on there, so okay. we knew they were going to shrink, but I was concerned they would be too tight and we couldn't get them off. Right. Uh, readings look good. Um, two seconds most of the time, every now and then another two seconds between samples, so it's looking as good as it has so far. Still talking to it? Still talking. And it Okay, see if we can get a reading while we're in the vent. And tilt up. And tilt up and pan right a bit, center up the... Okay, video, I can zoom in there for us. happy. It looks like it's hung up, sorry to say. It's just sitting there. No new samples. Right. At least we gave the cord a bit of a stretch. Okay, it just came back. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's touchy. <laughs> it it doesn't like to do current. its job when it's in position. <laughs> It works really, really well back at the lab. Yeah, no <laughs> criticism of the design. It's just a some short operating range. Yeah, it dropped out again. Uh, <laughs> what if we just say we're going to go back and touch it? Yeah. <laughs> or before we do anything, how about I just restart the program? Yeah, it doesn't hurt to see if it's on my end. And if no, not getting anything. Can we try pushing the porch again or just rattle wiggling it or something? Maybe that does the I, uh, the problem I can but it, it Oh it moves yeah. It moves the vehicle. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Anything, Jeb? Just keeping an eye on it. I did get a couple samples, but Pushing that up, but milk crate. It dropped out again. Too, but <laughs> I am pushing the <laughs> it's auto eject milk crate. <laughs> okay. Uh, J jettison milk crate. Go wide and uh, maybe I'll put the milk crate on it. Yeah, yeah it's just not I consistent. Put it, put it on the other side. Vehicles moving a little there. Right, sorry. Uh, Dan, if you eject the milk crate, could you use the uh, magnum to hold the hockey puck? Something down. What's that? If you eject the milk, milk plate with yeah. the porch, could you use the magnum to hold it down? Probably. Uh, you found the sweet spot there for a sec, a few seconds. <laughs> it's saying now it is it. I can see the front of it just barely up there. Yeah. It's solid right now. Is it? Yeah. This seems to be the cable. Yeah, just so much memory in it. I don't know, maybe I'm moving it, trying to keep it low here. And tilt up for me. Go tilt up. Still talking to it, are you? I'm not getting anything now. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> I wish right. I could share the display with you so you could see it. All right, I need to get it a little more solid here. Put the other ring on it or something. Six, eight, yeah, I'm just counting up. It's come back online now. Okay. You lift the, oh, I got it.
Yep, still consistent. Yep, stopped again. Roger. Okay. Yep. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. I'll just hang okay. tight then until you Chocolos. do your thing. Can you close jail for me? Are you locked? Yeah. Uh, lock it for me? Yeah. All right. I was falling off this rug. Are you locked? Yeah. yeah. Locked. Back up on this rock here. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Oh. Sorry. I'm floating up here. I got one second. Not getting any jam. Yeah, we dropped the pressure again. Yeah. Okay, I'm frozen, so <coughs> you'll have to, like, completely let go of it for a minute. Mm -hmm. Coming down slowly, yeah. but surely. A third of 20 horsepower. <laughs> Six, yeah. <coughs> Maybe get a little closer on the track. Right, yeah, yeah. <coughs> Sorry, wrong button for mute before I had to call. Dan, how about stacking the old loop back on top of this one? Would that be too much trouble? Um, the old one's down below us. Yeah, out of reach? Yeah. Okay. But, uh, uh, I'm not, I'm not get, making any head right down anymore. Okay, I'm going to extend the porch and we'll set this. Well, I hate to set this thing oh, yeah. I'm making headway. Yeah, we are. Is that this one? No. 
I can't even go into auto heading it. <laughs> if I go into auto heading it, it lifts me up. Oh, oh, there it goes. A little bit of forward jam. Oh. How's that looking, Jeb? Is it talking? Checked it a minute ago. I'll have another look. I don't know what you did, Dirk, but it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't do anything. They've been working on it this whole time. The man with the golden voice. <laughs> Plus. Yeah, it was doing fine there last minute or so. I'm going to keep it off to conserve battery, but we can check anytime you need it. Just don't push that thing over. <laughs> That'll be a disaster.
Oh, they have one vert? Is that a, are those bubbles I'm seeing in your, in the central cam, the one of your, what's it? Right above the porch, the basket. No, it's, oh man, it's the side, the side, uh, s what's that, bio box? Every now and then I see bubbles and it looks like that kind of fluid, hydraulic fluid. Just, that's something to look out for. I've seen it a few times now. Might not be nothing. I can't hold. I can't hold, no. I'm just. I keep losing pressure. <clears throat> Anyone, is there a, a bean bag nearby? Uh, yep, there's some right by the instrument platform. By the instrument platform. We're going to go get one. Hopefully it'll weigh us down a bit. This could also be if you follow the cable, just, um, it should be some on your left. You just got to watch um, smoke and mirrors is right on the left-hand side of that cable as you follow it back. Roger. Okay. Cable on the left, you said? No, no, on the r no, it's on your right. It's that green cable. Okay. Might have steered you wrong, yeah. That's the cable you want to follow. And the bead bags, with, there's weights on its left, on the left hand side of the cable. I can't even hold. <laughs> I'm just coming up. You're probably going to have to come up on the winch. Yeah, I've been there for a while. Okay, coming down. So if you think those things that you see on the bottom there, those might be some weights? I just can't tell from this height. Somewhere along this path back, you'll see some weights. Not the 
elven stacks. <laughs> There's the platform. Coming up again. So where from the platform am I looking? So I've got two spots here, just right to your right. Right to my right? Uh, just down below on your right. Oh, okay. It shows okay. some yeah. weights. Yeah, right there. Well, you don't want to take that one. Oh, all right. That one's on the instrument. <laughs> <laughs> but um, just to your right some more. All right. Should be some more stacked around here. Let's See them. It shows if you keep turning. Roger. I'm just having trouble turning and maintaining my altitude. Can't really see below you, unfortunately. Yeah. We just pick up a rock. <laughs> right. Got lots of rocks. Yeah. I don't know how loose they are. Uh, it shows. It shows <coughs> on my diagram that they're that they're kind of sprinkled all around that platform. It's just I can't tell from. Think you can pick up a, at one of those Elven stacks, or is that too heavy? That'll be that'll be pretty heavy. Is it just you guys are just way too light, or what's? Uh, it's, I th we think it's a probably a pump or hydraulic issue. mean hydraulic pressure is dropping off when we actuate that? some of our functions. Would it um Yeah, I'm not on SPO. The um we've had this issue we've been chasing a while where the system pressure drops. And uh we thought it was a thruster and then we thought it was a pump. Um, Yet to obviously resolve it. So. Yeah. Um, it's 50 50 at this chance, and probably uh, get Trevor involved here. <coughs> I can't. I can't hear you up. Yeah, if um, it would be if it's possible then to recover that sample we just took. 
but I don't know if you have that kind of control to go down and grab that the sample we just collected. You want to come up so we don't get tangled? I'm like, all right, because I'm having trouble. I'm just, I'm just coming up. I'll come up. So you can't even. Uh, um, it's intermittent. It's like at times it comes back and I can thrust down, and then other right. times it's like I'm full stick down and I'm just coming up. Right. Yeah. So I'll let go of it all together for a minute. Touch it. Yeah, immediately loses okay. 1500 psi. Okay, so let's try. Um, Just takes a little bit more. Uh, just for oh, come on. Okay, now nothing happens because you don't have any verts at all. But I'm gonna give you your other vert. Okay, now Gibber. Seems to be holding there, eh? Sorry, Dirk, to uh, answer your question. I don't know at this point. Um, yeah, we're got our hands full here. To it looked like for a minute we were going to come up whether we wanted to or not. <laughs> <laughs> back behind you or where we were where we've been hanging out what's that okay yeah well, I'm still looking for a bag if we're gonna press on with this dive wounded but I'm I'm thinking not I, it's happening again I think but yeah so that didn't cure it I mean is, that, is that what you're saying it's still dropping to, to hundreds well it's holding right now, but as soon as I give it any other function, it uh, pops it open. Yeah, like I can just do this, and it will stay up. But if I like turn right, it drops. Thousand and nine hundred psi. Yeah.
I think it might be the system relief valve is opening up. It shouldn't be. It's a new relief valve, but um, something in the system is uh, taking a whole bunch of hydraulic flow and the pump can't keep up, so the pressure drops, and we don't have any control of the vehicle. And it's exacerbated by the more th things you do, the quicker it drops. So what we're doing up here is we're, you know, isolating thrusters and turning the manip off. But um, I'm going to go off comms for a minute so I can talk to the boss here. Um, I think they're something to do with the Alvin exploration, but they dropped those 117, uh, just don't land on the rock, that's worst case. No, not the, don't land on the spire. We don't want to break it. Jeb, are you? Uh, never mind. Never mind. You had a question, Dirk? No, no. I, I wonder if they're going to try checking it or try taking the sample. I'm not sure. But don't. I, I Just wait for them, I guess. Oh, yeah, I can hang out. That's fine. What are the gang up to down on the deck? Uh, you can kind of, they seem like they're all gone now. <laughs> you right. can kind of, one of the cameras out there shows, shows the deck and I've, they've been kind of oh, yeah. building up the toolbox this whole time. But yeah. Looks like they're gone.
Uh, Trevor, just watch if you if you turn too far to your right, Trevor, you might hit the other get the other bars. He's not on heads, yet, I don't think. Just watch, Trevor, watch that um, bars on your right there. No, there's an element. There's a stack right next to it. Right below you right now, Trevor. Right there. On your... Like somewhere down here. There you go. Oh, I lost it. That's the marker. This is Sampler? <laughs> okay, right, now so that we've flown around and looked at everything, uh, yeah, we'll go try and park back where you were, and um, I'll right. we'll try and pick up the other. Um, gas tight sampler and we'll use that as a weight slash ICL securing device. Let's see if we can press on till O three hundred. You gotta be very, very gently I'm trying uh, to like I can't a five horsepower <laughs> five horsepower <laughs> RV right now. <laughs> uh, there's no PSI. <laughs> I think you're just heavy-handed. Trevor could do it. You want me to do it? Yeah, I got it, I got it, I got it. You got it. What are you going to do when you sit down in front of a 250-horsepower vehicle? 
We're going to be rocketing across the seabed at 10 knots. So he, um, I noticed when he stick locked in, he had 35%. Yeah, you gotta keep it low. And I, I, I'll give you, I come down dangerously low with Argus, that'll help. If I want to come down much more, I won't wind up with a twist in the tether and have more problems than being light. What's up? Gotcha. Right. So where it all went horribly pear shaped is where I set the other gas tight knot back on the vehicle. What was I wasn't thinking too long. Oh, uh, you'll have to land on the other side of the rock. I won't be able to reach it. Okay. the porch is out now, right? So you can put the front of the porch on that tire up, I think. Just watch that bar is there on your right. You're really close. Roger. Oh, lift off. I don't know if I can reach it from there. Uh, Let me retract the porch. I don't yeah. want to, but I put the porch right at the bottom of the structure there. front of the porch. Ah, that's what happens when the, you touch the wrong button and the wrist goes uh, from right into position mode. Brutalizing delicate scientific equipment. That's doing anything for our ICL, but I'll take a look. No connection. Of course. Still nothing, eh? I'll give it another shot. Nothing.
Okay, I got one sample came through. Mm. Two, three, four. Yep. Lost it for a second. Yeah. yeah. Like that. Nothing. There we go. That's good. Oh, yep. That should work. Okay, I'm gonna restart it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's not a good sign. You notice that. <laughs> Start on one. I thought it was being so clever with three, those fucking books. <laughs> four, five in a row. Okay. I'll let you know if it quits. Not if, but when. It's not there. Okay, looks like it's. I don't know if I got a good enough hold of it. Stopped. It's gone intermittent and it's hung up. Okay, it's back. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'm not pulling your leg. I want this as much as you do. <laughs> yeah, just joking okay, around. Zoom in. I'm going to have to tilt the camera a little there. We're still good. Temperatures spiked up to 240, 270, 280. I'll give it a second, 290. 270, you think we should just go for it and get it in? Um, the the RV's ready, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't really have a grip on it there. Okay, let me know if you want to adjust. I do. I'm afraid it would right come out during the sample. <coughs> oh, you don't want to hear this. <laughs> no. <laughs> it stopped, but uh, just... Right okay, go in. This was cute the first couple times. It's really getting old. <laughs> go in, video. Other way. Okay, I'll, I'll just uh, reboot go full it. Wide. <coughs> Oh yeah, we can, we can see it slipped off. It's got a... Okay. Yep, it's back. Okay. Zoom in. And a key. I think that uh, uh, tilt up tilt first. Up. Yep. Roger. Ninety, two twenty, two hundred, two eighty. Okay, I'm gonna go for it. Sounds good. Sure. Yep. Okay. Started taking the sample. Uh. Yep. It's still going. Oh, don't. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, for it hiccuped for a second. <laughs> I'm not seeing the spike in current, so I'm just going to hit it again here. Don't breathe, Dan. Yeah, it's skipping samples. Now I'm getting a weird time. No feedback that the valve has started operating. 
Alright. Okay, no one. Uh, you want to. So you don't know if it. It never started the sample, eh? It didn't hang out there for a sec. It didn't tell me it started the sample, but I am still seeing temperature reading, so I'm going to hit the sample button a few times here. Yeah, and it's it's given me wacky dates and it's missing samples, so let me just restart the program. Um go wait for us. It's over there now, still so Pete. And uh, tilt down a bit, Jake. Tilting down. I had a feeling you were gonna <laughs> You still in there? Yeah. Yeah, it's not consistent, but let's give it a shot. Are you gonna shove the milk crate into it? Yeah, why not? Can't hurt. Okay, I got the spike on the current. <laughs> 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 Do this, was all this in the manual? Pin one side with a hacked milk crate. <laughs> the, other side with the, first step. the cone does work, by the way. It does work. Uh, yeah, I think there was like some magnets involved or something that's supposed to. Uh, sample intervals consistent now at two seconds, so we're looking all right so far. You would think, you know, I can stick my iPhone on the. <laughs> well, and it talks. Yeah. <laughs> Let, let's uh, let's put it on the ROV and see how it does it. Yeah. <laughs> Two kilometers. Um, <laughs> the whole magnet thing. Too. Okay, we're at 292 Celsius. Wow. It's Two degree record. Yeah. One minute, and I'm still seeing regular samples. We have. Uh, Wow, just over a thousand psi of our three thousand psi. Oh. <laughs> We're just killing it. Come on, shift change. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> Here you go. Sorry. Yeah. Hundred seconds, everything's good. We were taking a sample around here somewhere, I forget where, some smoker. We had um, uh, majors, I guess. They're a different type of fluid sampler, but you, once you trigger them, um, they slowly extend this big uh, spring and they suck fluid in, and they have a half-inch stainless steel wand that sticks out about this far. It was a real challenging spot. We were up, you know, in tight on a structure up, you know, 20 meters up or something. And we knew we were somewhere we shouldn't be. It was hot, and you could tell the black that smoke coming through the cameras on the ROV. Um, and we thought, you know, that sonar is probably right in the vent fluid. No, it's not the vent fluid. No, it might be. The boss is like, get in there, get in there, you can get that sample. And then the sonar stopped working. <laughs> and we got our ground fault. Uh, but we carried on, you know, we didn't know, kind of know where you are around here. You can, uh, you can <coughs> work it out without your sonar, right? We came up, the sonar was so cooked it cooked, so it was a mesotech head. It melted the head and all the oil came out, but it also cooked the penetrator off the bottom of the electronics, cooked it all the way off, so it then flooded. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just completely wrecked the sonar, $50,000 sample. Wow. But we got the sample. Yeah. <laughs> very happy scientist, very not happy boss. The boss comes out. If you guys did what? <laughs> so we're telling them all about how hard the sample was. And we got it. Okay, we're 
are still good. Coming up on the four minute mark shortly, I'm keeping my eyes out for that current spike. We've also um, fused uh, another vehicle. We have the there are these sample boxes in the front with polycarbonate lint, uh, lids that open and close on actuators. And we welded both of them shut. <laughs> Too close to a vent. <laughs> we had to get uh, chisels and pry bars to took oh, out. Okay. We thought we had a hydraulic problem. Can't the lids won't open. <laughs> Still running. No sign that the valve has closed itself yet. It's still talking, though, eh? It's still talking, yep. Temperature's solid at 293 Celsius. That is hot. Yeah. I wonder if we'll get to see any vents on this one that have phase separation. I love that word. You know what that? You ever heard that one before? I don't know if it's a made-up scientist pulling our legs. When the vent looks like it's on fire, so it's like this blue color, so the something separating out of the water. It it, it, it looks like a you know like a blowtorch. So you get the different colors. And I think, I don't know if the phase is the light or the, what it is, but it looks really cool. That does sound cool. Yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I forget which one of the vents around here. It's one of them there, really hot. That probably changes all the time. Oh yeah, yeah, I've never seen them the same twice. Even over the period of a couple of weeks, so like mm -hmm. sometimes you knock one over and it's half a meter tall again, and sometimes it doesn't grow at all. I guess it depends on what's coming out of there and how fast it solidifies. Mm -hmm. It's really interesting. I'm just checking with the PI to see if he's happy with me closing the valve manually. These are the only two we're doing at this site. These okay. are the only two, yeah. What it, after this, what are we? What's our grand plan? Well, I mean, I don't know. It depends on what the ROV can do. Um, yeah. A lot of this depends on moving things in and out of a tool basket, moving bundles of cable, yeah. dragging that around. Mm -hmm. There is the other one. Other thing is this: um, a regular gas state. At Smoke and mirrors, the upside down one on the flange. Oh, pool. God, we want to oh, do that. Mm -hmm. So, I know about that. Mm -hmm. That's what I knew you were waiting for. I just wanted to see the flange pool. I don't care about the sample. <laughs> it's, uh, I, I do mean, care about the sample. It's kind yeah. of a discussion on what do we think the prognosis is here, because I don't think we can finish the dive in this state. Yeah, that's. It will take yeah. forever. That's mm -hmm. over. That's above my pay grade, <laughs> thankfully. Yeah. Yeah. But I tend to agree with you, yeah. Yeah, I'll um I'll go find Trevor after this. But if we think we can take the sample, like the um the gas tight sample, then at least it's three things that we don't have to bring back down. Yeah, we might yeah. as well burn what we have, right? Yeah. Yeah, and I mean if we if we can pull it off then that's great. Then we're done with that. We could get it off the R V, don't have to rig it on the way back in the tool basket, all that stuff. Uh -huh. yeah. So we'd bring this, these two back? If we can. Yeah, if back up, yeah. Not. yeah. We can fly with them. We need to wait right now. So. Yeah. Like going up is fine. The vehicle wants to go up. What's that? <laughs> going up is fine. The vehicle wants to go up. It's just yeah. staying down. No, you, you need control around the flange poles. You just bump them and they, they come apart. They're really fragile. So are we going to stick these back in the milk crate? These ones, I'm not sure where how or we can stick them stow in the them. starboard box. However, um, we can stow them. I don't know. 
I think pin them with the we can put them in the melt crate. We have a strap to strap it down. Okay. So the PI has said I can issue the close valve command manually. I gave it a shot. I uh, didn't see the response I was expecting. Battery voltage is a bit low. I'll just run that by him. Is there uh, a way we can look at it, Jim, to see if the valve is closed? Yeah, there's a, an opening in the back of the valve or the front where you can see if the gear has come out. Um, right. Is that something we could see from this angle if we zoom maybe. in? Maybe. If you look at the, I think it's the canister in the middle. Uh, go ahead, Pete, zoom in on the... I'm zooming on the back of that thing. Maybe there was a uh, this part? Yeah. Sharpie marker on there to indicate where the rest position was. Uh, it's kind of hard. The There's slot. So I'm ready. I think the slot is on the side. It might be on the other. Yeah, I don't see it there. Maybe it's on the opposite side of that block. Hmm. I can take it out of the out of the stream there and rotate it around. I don't know if that'll... Yeah, I'm just trying the close command a couple more times. So we won't be able to see anything move on it, I guess. And just giving an update to the PI, and we'll get a decision shortly. You can zoom in on the scale worm. Yeah. Make it like scale worms. Is that what it is? Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> Good ID. Look at them go. Dun, 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 dun. Those little bristles. Are they the ones that get quite violent? I know. Uh, I don't think they're violent. I'm thinking of something else. There was a little snail there, too. Okay, they're asking if I can reboot the system. I'll give that a shot. Look at the uh, top of the vent again. <laughs> Zoom on. Oh, you can just tilt up the vent and find something to look at. Other up. Maybe the little worms on the left there. Oh, yeah, checking in with the drama. Yeah. Okay, restarted the software. I can see temperature samples coming through. Is that pulls in, is it, Pete? Let's try closing the valve. That's all I can do. That's all I got. Let's go right just a little bit, Jake, so we can see the wand. That's good. Yeah, I see a little bit of current draw when I try to close the valve and then the sample stop. It kind of looks like the voltage is sagging and it's shutting down. <clears throat> Quick check in on the uh, chat and I'll let you know. Roger. Yeah, okay. While we're doing this, I'll be right back.
Yeah, we'll have some housekeeping to do, so. Uh -huh. Yeah, I see it. There's no reason it should do that. Something. I wonder if the bypass valve is coming open. Yeah, without instrumenting up, you know, pressure gauges out, and hoses, and breaking in, seeing what's what. Where's the relief valve on the system? It's pressure relief. There's a cartridge that goes in the distribution manifold. Okay. And so on the first expedition, we screwed that in a couple times. And, uh, the first adjustment seemed to, you know, we thought we had it. And then we were going a little deeper and we saw the issue again. So that relief valve has been screwed all the way in. So unless it's like, you know. So it seemed to be depth related. So we. You know, maybe it's pressure locking on the back of the relief valve somehow. Yeah. Then, uh, then Bob got onto the the thruster thing. It was um, he was convinced he could turn off the starboard vertical thruster. And it would come back, and he'd turn it on, and when it fail, and he'd turn it off, and he was able to repeat. Oh, that's that. what you were trying to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he was able to repeat that uh, multiple times, and he, you know, had the whole quote-unquote control room witness it because he knew <laughs> I wouldn't believe it. <laughs> so. Um, We, after the expedition, we uh, did some tests on the way in, and we did the old broomstick test on the thruster, where you you block the blade with something, and then you command the thruster, and you measure the, the flow across the thruster. So we did that to all the thrusters, and the starboard block rear... Block the thruster, like, block the... Yeah, like stick a broomstick okay. in it, okay. right? We usually use the big red I wasn't sure if that was a metaphor or not. <laughs> yeah, but the metaphor is the broomstick test. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, we found the starboard vertical thruster dumping several gallons a minute when it was blocked. So that indicates that the motor is worn out. And yeah. the way those things wear out is the, you'll get a lot of, uh, get a lot of bypass in the motor or they'll dump a lot of, flow to the case, right? So the, the components in there are worn out enough where it's not, you know, acting as a motor. It's just peeing out the case drain. Yeah. So we swapped that out, and we were hoping, you know, problem, problem solved. And we're never, all the tests we've done on deck, we've never been able to get it to do this, it's always been depth related. So, and then uh, we saw this again. That's why we changed the pump the first in the first place. Yeah. And I don't know if we saw any pressure drop issues after we changed the pump on the first dive. I, I wasn't paying attention really. I not this severe, but yeah, because it would have felt it. Yeah. Uh, well, anyway, and it seems that the issue's been, you know, I thought 2,000. At first we were seeing it below 1,000, and yeah. then we're, you know, below 2,000. So, uh, yeah, the depth-related issues are some of the hardest ones to track down. I've never had yeah. such a uh, you know, hydraulic depth-related issue like that. It's yeah. usually... It 
that's some kind of a leak, right? Where something's compressing or getting cold and not working, like a valve or sticking or something like that. What are all our ga gauges? Uh, gauges fine? Yeah. Last time I looked, they were. Uh, what is it? Two? We should do an official uh, copy paste here before the watch change. <laughs> Still at can't see him do yeah, shimmering got some shimmer fluid. there. Can, yeah. Main is still what's that? Three and a half. Res is two point. I won't say that three. one. Three. Four. Huh? Res is what? Three. You want to call him out? Reservoir. Three. Reservoir three. Yep. Term is six. Motor is seven. Motor still seven. Main is. I yeah, already got that one. Three point five. There is no point five. Oh, I guess four. three point five. Four. I'm calling it four. Round, round. The even numbers. Integers. My craft comp. Still good. Uh, Okay. Okay. Yeah, I gave it one more shot. Um, let it sit. Turned off for a minute or so. Fired it up, and I'm seeing the same behavior. Tiny bit of current. Sampling drops out. Just gave an update to the PI. Yeah, I think. Yeah. I don't know what we can do. I don't think there's many options at this point. Yeah. It d does seem like a power issue in the uh, device itself. What kind of battery is in it? Uh, is it a lithium battery or is it alkaline battery of some kind? It's, I don't know the answer to that. It's in like a heat shrink thing. It might be custom. Yeah. yeah. But um, I think from this desk, I've done everything I can. Yeah, and can yeah. we kind of have to make a decision on the ROV's uh, yep. ability gotcha. here. So I think. So I'll ask them maybe how they want to handle the sample, if there's anything we can do in terms of pulling it out. Yeah, to preserve it. Preserves but, uh, it. Yeah. Um, okay. I think we have to move to the next stage. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go on. Yep, they're just typing now. So they'll just let us know, but I think what we want to do is once we're done with this, get it back on the porch and assess what our capabilities are with yeah. when properly ballasted. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's a lithium yeah. battery. I don't think there's much we can do about it. Okay. <coughs> so there's still a time up there. Is that gonna float away? Still got one tire up on it. Steve and William are typing. <laughs> Game over, Steve. Insert yeah. coin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you can't get a coin down there. No replays? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so we abort this one. Okay, I'm going to pull it out. Stick okay. it in the crate. And it yep. Is that the... Yep. Okay, here we go. I don't know if there's anything on it you can see to determine if it's closed or not. I guess not. Yeah, I don't know. don't know where to look, but... Isn't it on the other side? I do not know. I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little bit. You can see there's like a cutout on the... Uh, oh, I see the Sharpie right. mark in the top there. So the middle can on the right hand side. Yeah, it's got that kind of slot. Yeah, there's some routing there. Yeah. If you look inside there, you can see uh, position of the valve and that black Sharpie marker that's now hidden behind the cable. Yeah. Is yeah. an indication of the valve position. Okay, so that looks like it kind of lines up with the marker. When we put it down, it might be easier to see it. Um, I think that's pretty clear. Yeah. There? Yeah. It didn't move then. 
appears yeah. to be lined up with something. All right. <laughs> okay. It did line up with something. Yeah, that's pretty definitive. Okay. It didn't do anything. But yeah, Steve has the bright side. That's why we bring two. So. Okay. So. Thanks for giving it a shot. The next. The next test. What we want to do is establish. Our ability to fly around. Can you uh, rack back and look down? Rack and back. And then we want to decide: can we continue like this? Uh, so we got maybe a little housekeeping to do at the very least here. Right? Yeah, <coughs> button it up. Maybe we go check out smoke and mirrors while we fly and see how it goes. Ah. Oh, the gas tank thing. Oh. You know, uh, pan right for me. Panning right. leave it. tire up on the first time. I just touched it with the upper arm there. It's underneath, it's underneath it? us. Right. Yeah. That's right. the blue one. It's on the ground. Yeah, right. <coughs> Starboard box. Yep. Closing. I don't know where the little 3D printed thing went. I'm gonna ignore that for now. No. Um. 
I think it might be right in front of the yeah, tool truck. Yeah, I'm not going to be yeah. honest with it. <coughs> Start pushing the milk crate off. <clears throat> Porch until it. Uh <clears throat> Can't tell if that thing's in front or not. in front. Let's do a little uh, rest right. Oh yeah, that's in front. Yep. Okay. Alright. Uh, yeah, if you come up, I'll... See what's going on? Oh, yeah. Well, you're going to get that cable, right? Yeah, yeah, but you can come back. I don't want to reach around in there with the bars. Or we can let it dangle. Really. Dangle sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're looking for. Okay, you can. Um, sorry, you can push. Yeah, no, go ahead. Out. Turn to your right. Turn to my right. Roger. Might get to see if Lange pull before we go. Oh. Oh, turn the craft turn off. Turn the craft off? Yeah. That helps a lot. See the sonar target right there? Oh, yeah. Okay. Look up a little more. Get rid of that chair. Yeah. All right. If you um, can. I'll play with the lights here. The idea here is to really judge your control of your flying. Yeah, right now I'm fine. Find a flying spot. Quick, quick, four shifts. <laughs> See those little things that stick out? You'll have to look up more. Look up? Yeah. Oh, turn the uppers off here. I'm seeing the sonar there. There we go. Three of them already. We can keep going up, see where the top yeah. of it is. There might be some overhang, so. Yeah, right. right. Might have just passed a flange pool there on your right. There's another one on your right. Oh, okay. See those? Yeah, yeah. I see it, I see it now. Sorry, I gotta. Yeah, let's go look at the one on the right. Roger that. So you want to be look up a little more? Oh, that's down. Okay, uh, not not quite that far. Oh, up. Yep. To 
Sorry, there's no jewelry in the top of the view there. Uh, you're extended all the way out. Yeah. Okay. They're really hard to see with this um, vehicle because it's designed to look down. And bubble cam is not much help because it can't see anything but a sonar. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm going to play with the lights here before you get a little closer. Let's see. Roger. Try it. Uh, turn there. It's a little better, is it? So that's a good angle there. Yep. Uh, yeah. Closer, closer. Closer, closer. Oh, well, yeah, we could sample that, no problem. You see oh. the shimmering water in there? I hit it. That was the iris. Probably the one below you is also flangeable too, but yeah, that's probably the best view you're gonna get. Yeah, I so. yeah that's pretty good. You can, uh, you're How two and a half meters away, so you can get closer. Okay. You How hit it, you're too close. <laughs> <laughs> How's the ROV uh, performing? Do you think it's, it's good? we can uh, attempt to get a gas state out of this? Not before 3 a.m. That's true. <laughs> That's for darn sure. <laughs> I wouldn't even uh, attempt it this close to shift change, even yeah. if we were 100%. Yeah. Yeah, because the other, the best <laughs> thing we can do right now is just to enjoy the view for a few minutes and let the fresh crew come in and take over. Yeah. And they're going to have... Yeah, Some you got ideas. three minutes, yeah, or something. Yeah, so you can, might be able to look at the other one below, below you it, if you want, yeah. Jake. Or if you come up a bit and get closer. And see the top of the flange pole. Don't get too close, because if you pull <laughs> back, it, it will dust it. And speaking of the fresh crew, our saviors, I'm going to... Uh, Thanks, Dirk, for all your patience tonight. It was wonderful in the back row. Thank you, guys. And uh, that's me out. I'm going to discuss with Trevor here I'm while Jake up gives a us a beautiful view of the flange pole. Off, off comes. Thanks.
Hello. We're going to try some stuff here. Hello. So, uh, what's the next science objective? Is to gas tight a flange pool? Thank you. Yeah, so, well, no, we, the, if we go down, um, Trevor? Yeah, go down. Once you're settled in, let me know. Settled. Okay, so let's work our way back down to the bottom of this. Okay. And then w the main question for you uh, is, do you think we can perform all the work in the current state? We'll go back to the IPs, try moving some cables around, or we'll pick up the bars, clear it from the site where it's at right now. We'll do a few tasks, and then we'll evaluate how we feel about it. Yeah, that's the that's where I'm at, is if we can do them, we will continue to do them until we can't. I yeah. Think, I'd like to go that route, if that's okay with you. Um, yeah, I think so. What? Where's AJ? Where's AJ? He'll be, he'll be here, don't worry. Can we hurry up on that, please? Uh, yeah, so maybe send a message down, call the lab, call, 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 you've got all the options down there. So, yeah, where are we going? Right this, right this second. Okay, so right below you, look at the bars. Can I get the front porch, please? Uh, preset uh, one. Say on a little bubble. louder. Preset one on bubble. Thank you. That's louder. Yeah. Probably at the end of this cable. What cable? I don't. Yeah, that one. On the left or right? Your left. You're going left, yeah. Left feels better. Hey, there's a piggy. Wink, wink. <coughs> Good. No, I'm saying up. go go for it. Do it. Do your thing. <laughs> oh. You're gonna ask me. Can you take the thing? And I, was saying, I actually wasn't gonna ask. <laughs> so, all right. So what we want to do? We want to pick that bars up. The new or the old? The old. Roger. Pick up. Pick up old piggy. Let's tip down pretty quick here, and then. We'll put that on the porch somehow. Right where it's easy to do. Uh, hmm. <laughs> be able to reach. Yeah, can you or should I go over? Disconnect. No. No, we're just gonna fly it free. Uh, One of the things we're trying to do is far. see whether they can do tasks right now or not. Let's we'll land on this bars. Yeah. Okay, Josh, go ahead. This might get spicy. Let's see what we can do. Roger. Uh, <coughs> old bars, far bars. Far bars. Hydraulics coming up. Okay. I'm coming up. Spicy and dicey. So we got the slow jaw again. Yeah, nowhere to, there's nowhere to be. I'm not gonna hold heading until you. Holding it is overrated. Yeah, no, you can figure it out. <coughs> All right, love that. Love every part of this now. You having fun? Yeah, now we're heavy. Now this is the weight that I want. <laughs> How heavy is a bar? 16 pounds in water? Yeah, about that. Raj, yeah. sounds like we need to find us an alpine weight. Or a perk drop weight kind of thing. Yeah, I don't have it here. 
Nice job grabbing the probe tip and putting that on the porch. <laughs> Are you saying I shouldn't have done No, it? you nailed it. That's great. How's that? That's super duper. Frozen. Uh, turn hydraulics oh. off. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. You want me to just put it on the porch, like extend the porch all the way, put it down, and then stow the arm? If you uh, hold the jaw close, it's halted right now, right? It is halted. Hold the jaw close. Yep. And then press the blue button at the base of the arm. Okay. Pressing hydraulics off. Yeah. Oh. It keeps the jaws closed ish, but I guess not well, locked. It is. It's springy, are we? Not so bad. Okay. Okay, so where are we going? Once you're happy, you want to follow that cable back towards the IP. Okay. And uh, we're just going to drop this thing. Follow that cable. Uh, just kind of towards the southwest of the IP. Where is the cable? There. Okay, here we go. Do you need me to come up in the water column or anything? Or just kind of give her? Yeah, if you can come up as high as so you can still see the camera or still see the cable in one of your cameras. Roger that. It's over top of everything? Yeah. But it, it, yeah. Oh, oh. Might be caught on a rock. You want me to come straight up or not? before I go forward anymore? Uh, let's stand by a second. Standing by. Where are we right now relative to that, to the IP? Are we We're getting close to it? Platform's right in front of us. Oh, you can see it? Yeah, in the right there. Okay. I'm just going to come up a few meters. Okay, there's a few meters up. I'll go forward more. Okay, we just want to be slightly southwest, maybe... Yeah, maybe even if we just are, if we can just kind of go eight meters west southwest or something like that, just south, just south of west. Okay. And then we just could just the lower it down. I see the end of the cable is there too. I think. You no, know, the end of the cable is still on the bullhorn, so you can't go all oh, the way. Is it really? Up, and it's still connected. Okay, we just needed to get it cleared out. Okay, I think I got a landing zone. That's probably, well, that's probably three meters. We'll go a little farther. Yeah, I mean, five meters, that's fine. Okay, I'm down. Just not right by the platform, because we want to put another cable there eventually. Yeah, roger. Um, yeah. Hi.
Okay, uh, Dirk? Y yes. Is there a weight around here? No, you get your uh, right we did a quick search. We'd have to go back up to probably almost to the other IP to pick okay. up another weight. So we'll be ditching this bars right here is the is the game plan, right? Yeah, where is it relative to the IP? Is the IP just behind us? Yeah, you want me to do a visual on yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, that'd be good. Okay. Um, yeah, because as soon as we put this oh, down, the next step will be... your uh, side camera. Yeah, Roger. I mean, it depends how much. There's all those Elven stacks, but I think they're very heavy. That's 7,412,000 pounds, so that'll be too much. Roger. Perfect. Nailed it. Whoops. Red. Where's the red one? one. All right, this is a great spot where you're at. Thanks. Yeah. It's a great this, spot. This side of that cable. Is that cable. yellow beanbag on something? Was yeah, I want, I want off bean in the bags. distance. Off in the distance, yes. It's on no, a the, size the one that was right in front of the IP. Oh, okay. It, it shouldn't be. I didn't, didn't see look it. Like it was on something. Is it I right by it the there, corner yeah. of the IP? It's right by yeah. the corner of the IP. Yeah, that one is free. Okay, I'll take that. That'll be about a bar's weight ish, right? Yeah, we didn't see that one right there. Bar's weight. Imperial bars. Yeah, those speed bags are like 25 pounds or 20 pounds, 20, yeah, 25. Love that. Love every part of that. <laughs> now, okay. once we la land on this spot, could you grab me a waypoint? Of course. Eagle has landed. Ready, Go Trevor? Ahead. Yeah. Boop, boop, boop. What should I call it? Um, Maybe just. Uh, Sanya, bars. Sanya bars, temporary, temp, temporary position, or something like that. 2023. I'm not good at letting go, Dave. Don't worry. Hello. Yeah. Thanks, Nav. I've grabbed that already. All right. Cool. Thanks. down and just do the loop after there you go okay Dave you ready uh, yeah sure <laughs> Dink. You're free. Yeah. Uh, is that green cable on us somehow I think so um, it looks like it's on the inside maybe just sitting on the inside of us so I get the arm yeah. and do that yeah Roger. Um. Nah, it's not. Okay. All right, where are we going now? Uh, he's talking to Trevor. Yeah. Um, there might be a beat bag by the IP that Trevor was would like to go? Yeah. Go off to your right. Come around and have a look. Uh, or I guess turn all the way around. I'm going to come around left, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, see what happens. I'll have 
There it is. This is going to be real slow and steady to get in here. Slow and steady is your middle name, dude. Yes, sir. <laughs> Rolls right up the top. Yeah. Okay, Mac, go for it. Roger. Standing by. Anywhere you want. It, it looks, looks quite light like a to be <laughs> pretty empty beat back there. Yeah. You're probably better off just leaving it, Trevor, and picking no. up a proper one. No. Anything you can. Yeah. An extra six ounces will help. <laughs> <laughs> just bags. Pick up some zip ties. I saw a rock that looked like it might be loose, but it was kind of between other big rocks, so I don't know. Uh, no, there's a bunch of bunch to do first so if we're doing first ballast let's focus on that we, because we have to do a bunch of shuffling okay yeah I haven't changed anything really technical term Okay, the next speed bags would be if you follow the red and white cable that you see in your screen, follow that up. There's some more speed bags up there. Okay. It's about 150 meters. Ooh. Well, that's a long way. Mm -hmm. 